we on? Are we on? Yes. yes. I'm sorry, I'm on? Yes. I'm sorry. Good afternoon, friends. I'm the Catholic guy, Lino Rudy. I'm the host of the program you're listening to right now. I thank you for being a part of our boring Catholic radio. Professionalism is not our standard. Education and elegance is. <clears throat> if you would like to be a part of our show today, you can be a part of our show today. I'm your host, Lino Ruli, at 1-888, then the number 3, and then type out the word Catholic on your telephone. That's one triple eight. I'll put the phone number out now with the numerical order. 322-8465 with what you'd like to talk about, and I'd like to hear what's on your heart. <clears throat> First of all, I'm your host, Lino Ruli, and let me talk to you about today what I would like to talk to you about today, and that is being Catholic and the excitement that comes from being Catholic. You know, I was a Protestant when I was growing up, and I hated the Catholic Church. But now I'm not. And it's thrilling beyond words, now that I am Catholic. It is important, however, to point out in my... It is important, however, to point out that Catholicism is not to be enjoyed. Catholicism is to be endured. And I'm your host, Lino Ruli, and I appreciate you being a part of today's show. And if you would like to be a part of today's show, this isn't, um, oh, how can I say this? This isn't a time for entertainment on the radio, because this is a time, what is most important is that we what is most important is that we talk about the faith, not celebrate it joyfully. There are some who... <laughs> there are some... There are some... Is my microphone... Is my mic... There are some who work in the media of Catholic media feel as if it's most important to do not quality, but the only thing that is important is that we t talk and tell ourselves we are doing important things. I see the phone line is lighting up here. We already have a caller this early on at one eight 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 three catholic that phone number is one eight 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 three two two eight four six five. with what's on your heart. And we're going to go to our first call. Hello, caller. What's your name and where are you from? I'm sorry. We, we're having a technical difficulty here. I'm sorry. We're, we're not able to hear this person. Uh, hello, caller. Your name, please, and where you're from? Uh, Howard. My name's Howard. Hello, Howard. Thank you for your call. And where are you calling from, sir? Um, uh, uh, New York. Hello, Howard, from New York. Well, we appreciate your call. Thank you very much for it. Is, it, uh, is this, the, is this the, the Catholic uh, Channel? Yes, it is. God bless you. Is this is, uh, the Catholic Channel? Yes, it is. God bless you. Thank you. Bubba booey, bubba booey, bubba booey, bubba booey. I'm not sure who that was. I'm not sure what that was. I'm the Catholic guy, Lino Ruli. This is more important radio. This is the most important type of Catholic radio, in fact, that we can do because the faith is something that is not to be lived out as much as it is to be talked about. I'm not sure what that last call was. About, I'm going to talk to people about that. I, I, I missed part of our communication there. Oh, I see we have another call already. One eight 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 three Catholic, eight 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 three two two, 
8465. Uh, I see this name is Mark. Hi, Mark. Thank you for your call. Where are you calling from? Uh, this is Pastor Mark Grizzard from North Carolina, the second rock by the side of the road, Church of Grizzard. Oh, yes. Thank you for your call, Pastor Mark. We, we, I read a story about you this past October that you are, you had a, a Bible, um, you burned the Bible uh, at, a, at a meeting of some sort. Is that correct? Only the devil's version. Yes. Uh, which is, uh, you know, the good Catholics, if they wanted something to do, they could burn a few Bibles and then maybe barbecue some chicken over the flames. You understand. Uh, that's what me and my followers like to do on a lazy Sunday afternoon. All 12 of them. <laughs> sorry. I, I'm sorry. I broke character. I'm not supposed to laugh on traditional uh, Catholic radio. Now, Pastor Mark, you understand you're going to hell, correct? Uh, well, hang on just a minute there, Lena. I've got to go. Ch- I'm boiling some eggs. Uh, I love the smell of eggs in the house on a Saturday morning. <laughs> and uh, I know this is about Wednesday, but I like to get a head start. <laughs> well, Pastor Mark, obviously... Uh, I'm not sure why you're laughing. This is serious business, this is ser- and all you Catholics have got it wrong. That's correct. Uh, there, there's this uh, green Bible. I don't know why the, why it's green. Uh, the Bibles are supposed to be brown. Yes. No, you are uh, correct, Pastor Mark. Well, yeah. I, Pastor Mark, I'm afraid I can no longer keep you on my telephone lines right now because we disagree about uh, the Christian faith, and whenever we find disagreement, I need to say goodbye. But I do thank you for your call very much, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Yeah. No. I am the Catholic guy, Lino Rulli. We are doing a more traditional Catholic radio format today. It's, it's the way Catholic radio was meant to be. And if you would like to be a part of today's broadcast, I'm your host, Lino Rulli. Our topic today is Catholicism. 888-3-CATHOLIC, 888-322-8400. Six, five, if you would like to be a part of today's broadcast. Let's go to our next caller. I don't have a name here on my screen. Hello, caller. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, yeah, hi. My name is Robin. Hi, Robin. Thank you for your call. How are you? Hi, hi. I'm, I'm good. How, how are you? Thank you. God bless you. God, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. What, uh, what is on your heart today? Uh, I was just uh, I was calling to um, <clears throat> to uh, talk about uh, Catholicism. Perfect. You've come to the right spot, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Th- thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Um, yeah, I, I have a I have a problem. I was I was at my church uh, the other day, and I had this uh, priest. It's uh, Father uh, uh, Bowie. Is his name Father Bowie? I don't oh. know if I can uh, say that here, but Father Bowie is. Uh, well, I was talking to Father his, Bowie. His last name is Bowie, or his first name is Bowie? Uh, no, his first name is it's um, uh, it's uh, Baba Bowie is his, is his full name, Father Baba Bowie. But I didn't. I I'm, be, I'm being told right now that this is another prank. I, I don't know how all these pranks have gotten through today. I'm being no, told no, no, this, it's, no, it's not. No, okay. no, no. I'm, I'm I'm very serious. It's under my, the. Uh, my producer is uh, telling me that. No, no, no. It's okay. um, Father Father Bowie, and he's under uh, Archbishop Stern. <laughs> Of, uh, I'm being told this is. <laughs> Thank you for your call. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry I broke character. I ap- I apologize. I am your host, Lino Ruli, giving you a more traditional look at the Catholic faith, as it's more presented uh, normally in Catholic radio. We in the past had created a format of radio. And the format of radio we did confuses some people. And some people were unclear why we used professional standards and entertainment to spread the good news. Oh, sorry. And and I I will take another call. I see another phone line. Another phone call has already come in. At 1-888, and then the number 3 and then the word Catholic on your telephone. And it's toll-free. The number is toll-free. 
<clears throat> We're going to go to Hart. Hello, Hart. Where are you from? Hello. May I speak to Lino, please? I will take another call. Thank you. Hart. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Hart. I'm Lino. Hi, Lino. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> just speaking to uh, Miss Maureen. What a, what a, what a blessing. So, yes, uh, she is. It's, 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 a, it's a blessing to work with her every day, in fact. Good woman. Good woman. Good Catholic. Uh, Lino, I was wondering if you were taking a prayer request today. I am right now. Um, Lino, if you could just pray for me and, uh, and my family as my cat has uh, recently died. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we, are we still on the air? We, excuse me? Oh, good. We have Hart still on the phone with us. I thought we may have lost Hart's call. Uh, no, I, I lost my cat, you know, and, uh, and that's what I wanted you to pray for. If, uh, if you could pray for me and my family, is, <sighs> we're just going through a really tough time, you know? No, I understand, Hart. I once had a dog, but the dog is still alive. But I understand exactly what you're saying right now. We actually, we have two dogs, four fish. A bird, uh, it's a parakeet, and um, <clears throat> and that's about it. But I don't, I don't, I just, I would like for you to just basically pray that my family and I could just could just move on, quit, deal with the loss of our cat appropriately, and then move on. Uh, Th- this is difficult. I understand for you. I understand. Take your time. Uh, well, that's that's. Actually- I'm sorry. We have another technical difficulty. Are you still with us, Hart? I'm still with it. Thank you. Uh, but that's, that's pretty much it. Um, and if you could ask your listeners to pray for us also, please. Uh, uh, listener. Listener. We, we keep it in the singular here. Hart, God bless you and thank you for your call. Lino, God bless you. God bless you. This is difficult. I understand. There was some feedback in the background, I understand. I am your host, Lino Ruli. Welcoming you to our more traditional format of Catholic radio, the tomfoolery and skullduggery of the Catholic channel in the past is gone now. This is the way it should be, and this is the way way it will be in the future. God bless you. God bless you. If you'd like to be a part of our broadcast today, our telephone number is 1-888-3-CATHOLIC, 1-888-322-8465. Oh, we have another caller ready. Let's go to the phone. Caller, uh, let's go to Cody. Caller, where are you calling from? Oh, I think we're having a technical difficulty. Let's let's try this again. Co- uh, let's see if the caller is there. Caller? Oh, I'm afraid we're not able to hear the call. Let, uh, Cody? Yes. Ah, Lino. Cody, yes. Thank you. I am here. God bless you. I, I am a, a long-time listener and a first-time caller. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you all. I, I very much enjoy the program, and I wish that you could compel the people that are playing the pranks to search their hearts and, and think otherwise when interrupting such a, a beloved, lovely show such as this one. It's a pious show is what it is. This is what is important. Piety is more important than entertainment in the radio business, you understand. I, I don't listen for entertainment. I'm frankly never entertained but that would be wrong if i was god bless you although i believe you just insulted the show not at all thank you god bless you an entertaining catholic show would be insulting to the faith indeed it would heretical if you ask me absolutely and you are doing a good job by flying under the radar of entertainment and keeping it pious as you said earlier god bless you if if not pious in the media we will never bring people back to the catholic faith do you understand what i'm saying god bless you brother god bless you brother goodbye okay. i'm sorry we might we, i believe we hit the wrong i'm sorry i'm sorry i am your host lino ruli later on in the show we're going to be bringing a guest onto our broadcast we're going to have Mary McOginnis, uh, the author of many books, including Women and Faith, Females and Faith, Teenage Girls and Faith, Geriatric Women and Faith, Ladies and Faith. Her new book, The Picnic Basket Full of Sin, How Yogi Bear is Turning Our Children into Raging Heretics. I'm looking forward to that. I believe we have another call. Let's, uh, I don't have a... 
the name here. Let's let's go to the caller and see their name and where they're from. Hello, caller. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, how how are you, caller? In your name, please. Uh, Gary. Hi, Gary. Thank you for your call. What Thank you. What can Thank we do you, for uh, and boring Catholic radio for you today? Uh, no, it's just it's a blessing to be part of your show. Uh, God uh, bless Lino. you. God, Lino. God bless you. Oh, God. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me on on this program. It's it's a wonderful uh, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, yes, it's a worldwide evangelization movement is what we're doing here, and and we reach a lot of people. Uh yeah no it it it's definitely it shows it's it's very uh. Um, interesting it's a good it's a good program i enjoy what you do thank you god bless you god bless you god bless you is there anything else i can um, do for you no this is well it. well uh what well, uh, lino i have i have a lino uh, lino oh, oh i'm sorry i'm sorry it's okay uh i just i have a, a problem <clears throat> okay. i was hoping you could you could help me with um i have a this i, I i'm addicted to a to a show yes I, it's, I hope it is not a Catholic radio show that you're addicted no, to. No, no, no. Okay, it's it's nothing like this show. I, I, I tune into this show uh, out of out of penance because I, I find myself tuning in uh, in the morning. Um, I, I wake up and it's 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 as if Satan himself has changed my dial on my radio and and tuned it into this horrible, horrific show. God bless you. That Satan is a is a host of. Yes. And and I'm and I'm I try and turn away, but it's it's an entertaining show, and I find myself drawn to it uh, inexorably. I, I I can't get away from it. It's um, it, it's the Howard Stern show. Oh, I'm, I believe we're not supposed to use that word. I'm sorry. Thank you for your call, though. It's Howard uh, and his producer, uh, Baba Bowie. Please, I'm sorry. Please Baba don't. Baba Bowie's the producer. Please, Baba Bowie. Please do not. Please, we cannot. Uh, Baba Bowie's no, the producer. No, I believe I'm being told this is a prank. I apologize. Thank you for your call, however, Gary. We, we have to move on. I'm your host, Lino Ruli. Let's try some of the email that has come in. The email address is lino at thecatholicchannel.org. Uh, let me read one of the emails that has come into the uh, radio show. Dear Mr. Lino Ruli, I was at Mass on Sunday and I noticed that the priest was wearing brown shoelaces. I was always told that the priest had to wear only black shoelaces. Should I call the bishop? God bless you. Sincerely, Phyllis. Yes, uh, Phyllis, this is something that... That we cannot, uh, we cannot do something about here on the Catholic Guy Show. But I believe this is something you should write to the bishop about. And quite frankly, if the bishop doesn't do something, I believe you should go right to the pope, because this is this is something you need to write. This this is a serious business that we're discussing here, and that's what the Catholic Guy Radio Show today is about. This is about serious business. No more of the tomfoolery and skullduggery that people have gotten used to on the Catholic Guy Show, and no more entertainment. It's it's answering important questions. Do you understand? <clears throat> I'm your host, I'm Lino Ruli. Hosting. I'm your host, Lino Ruli, with your calls. Oh, I'm being told now. Should we should we go to our guest? I'm being told we should go to our guest now. Okay. Yes. yes let's let's do that. Well, let let's go to our guest. Okay. Well, this is very exciting and quite an honor for the Catholic Guy Show. We are, we are bringing on to our show acclaimed author Mary McOginnis. Mrs. McOginnis, the author of many self-published books, including Women and Faith, Females and Faith, Teenage Girls and Faith, Geriatric Women and Faith, her latest book, Picnic Basket Full of Sin, How Yogi Bear is Turning Our Children into Raging Heretics. And so this is very exciting. We get to welcome Mary McOginnis to the show now. Mary? I'm sorry. I'm being told we're having technical difficulties now. Uh, Hello? Oh, uh, Hello? Mrs. Ma is this Mary? Hello? Ah. I, I can't hear him. Is this, are, we, are we on the air? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Hello? Yeah, she's there. Mary? Hello? Yes. Yes, this is Lino. I'm the host. Yes. Lino, Lino. Yes, well, uh, yes, this is a, quite an honor and a privilege to have you on our show. You're a very uh, acclaimed author of many self-published books, and it's an honor to have you on our show. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The first question I'd like to ask you is, wh wh uh, there's a book you wrote called Women and Faith. Why did you write Women and Faith? Um, I decided to write the book Women and Faith. Because I, I am a woman, and I have faith. 
Beautiful, beautiful. That's a beautiful answer. I think that's very important to a lot of our listeners out there today to make sure that they heard this important message you're giving. Um, God bless you. God bless you. The second question that I'd like to ask you today, uh, Mary McOginnis, is uh, about your second book, Females in Faith. I'm curious what inspired you to write Females in Faith. That's a great question, Lino, and I'm really glad that you asked me that question. Um, I wrote the book Females in Faith um, because I am a female and I have faith. God bless you. And it's, that's you. beautiful, too. And I, I think this is an important thing for uh, a, a lot of women out there to hear this important information being distilled on our show. My third question uh, has to do with your third back book, in fact. Oh, yeah. A book called Teenage Girls in Faith. And I'm, I'm curious what, uh, what motivated you uh, to, to, to write that book, because the way I understand it, it's a, it's a bestseller. It's, it's sold hundreds of copies, correct? It actually did. It um, it recently went up to um, eighty seven copies have been sold. Eight, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful gift, and mm-hmm. it's a beautiful gift. Now, now, what in, what inspired you to write teenage girls in faith? Well, um, I'm really glad you asked that question. That is a very good question, Lino. God bless. And you. I was inspired to write it because I used to be a teenage girl of faith. Oh and, yes, um, of course. And I and I have a teenage daughter, and um, and she has faith. Well, you see, this is very important because a lot of teenage girls listen to our broadcast, and it's important to have strong role models like you, uh, Mrs. I'm sorry, I missed. I've, I've misplaced her name. There it is, Mrs. Mary McOginnis. It's very important that that young girls in in Catholicism nowadays have role models, people they can relate to, and I, I think everyone can relate to you. That's part of your success, correct? God bless you. I can relate to you as well. God bless you. Um, my fourth question is uh, about your fourth book, actually, the uh, question I've been wanting to ask you. Um, Please go ahead. Thank you. Please. Is, uh, Please. You wrote a go book ahead. called Geriatric Women of Faith. I'm, I'm curious what the motivation was to write this book. Well, I'm really glad you asked that question, Reno. It is, um, it's a good question, very insightful. And um, the reason why I was inspired to write the book, um, Geriatric, uh, Geriatric, oh, oh, me. No, no, no. That, 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 please don't make mistakes. Don't make mistakes on Catholic Radio. Thank you. Take your time. Geriatric woman of faith um, is that I I will be a geriatric woman, and, um, and I will have faith, God willing. God willing. I think that's a beautiful uh, thing you've just said there. <laughs> My fifth question with you today, ma'am is your latest book is called Pick a Nick Basket Full of Sin, How Yogi Bear is Turning Our Children into Raging Heretics. And I'm, this is another important book, and I'm glad you wrote it, and it's something the secular media does not cover enough, and this is why it's important to cover these important topics like this in a Catholic forum as we're doing on today's broadcast. I'm your host, Lino Rulli. Oh, uh, and why did you write this book? I'm really glad you asked that question. Um, it's actually quite insightful. It's a very good question. And um, I must tell you that I was inspired to uh, write the book, Pick a Nick Basket Full of Sin, because I grew up watching Yogi Bear, as I'm sure many of your viewers have. Yes. And um, I just felt that, you know, as a child, I was scandalized, frankly, by the sin. Um, Yogi spent his time stealing Pick a Nick Baskets. Um, There was a lot of gluttony. He would just... um, he was engorged on honey and all of the um, delicious sundries that he got from these stolen picnic baskets. Yes, um, I also, awful. I also always had a feeling. I did not feel he was clothed properly. He was, he was rather, he was dressed rather immodestly. I felt he was. He was scantily clad, um, running about, frankly, um, just spreading sin everywhere he went. And I want to protect our children from it. I feel that he is pagan. Yes, Yogi Bear is pagan. Well, I, uh, I uh, Mary, Mary, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. It's a, it's a horrible, horrible scourge upon our society, secular cartoons. Well, Mary McOginnis, author of, uh, best-selling author, excuse me, of many books, including Women and Faith, Females and Faith, Teenage Girls and Faith, Geriatric Women and Faith, her latest book, Pick a Nick Basket Full of Sin, How Yogi Bear is Turning Our Children into Raging Heretics, Available at almost no Catholic bookstores now. Well, thank you so much for for your time, Mary you, you can get it. Um, there's a self-published section on Kindle, and you you can um, I believe you get it on the the interweb. You can um, yes. Lo- you can load it down on Kindle. 
God bless you. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Bless you as well. Thank you. I, I've always felt it's extremely important to bring these kind of important guests to an important radio show like ours today, the Catholic Guy Show. It's an important topic, and it's these 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 are the things that people need to know about and people need to learn about. And our secular society too often does not allow the message of what we are bringing on today's broadcast of today's Catholic Guy Show. And I'm your host, Lino Ruli, and these messages are not brought often enough to our society. Let's try, uh, we're going to take a couple of phone calls now. 1-888-3-CATHOLIC is the telephone number. That's toll free. You have to read that slower. 1-888, that's three eights in a row. And then push 322-8465. We have another call already. Let's go to Sean driving in the state of Tennessee. Sean? 3 is the telephone number that's toll free. Oh. One. <laughs> is everything okay? Sean? H- hello? I believe we, you just needed to turn your radio down a, a little bit there, Sean. Oh. God, I bless, know. You. God bless you, Sean. Oh, uh, God bless you. Thank you. You, you know, I, I need so much help. Thank you. God bless you. I, 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 I don't know what to do. I don't know. Oh, we lost the call. Oh, that's a tragedy. We, we lost the call at the most misopportune time. <laughs> I will take a few more calls. I want to read a couple of the emails coming in right now. My email address is alino, all one word, at <laughs> the Catholic Channel. Dot org. Julie writes saying, Boring Catholic radio is hilarious. I can't stop laughing. Picnic basket full of sin. Ha ha. Please don't laugh at Catholic radio. It is not meant to be an entertainment forum. This is serious business. Mary Ellen writes, Picnic basket full of sin. You are killing me. Everyone at work is staring at me for laughing out loud. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just need to get some water. Catholic radio is not meant to be professional, nor is it meant to be entertaining. <clears throat> Joey, 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 Joey writes, Brother, genius radio, I'm listening to. Hilarious. Great job. I'm st- oh, I think we just lost our audio equipment. Are we okay? Okay. Yes, it's fine. His email continues. Very kind email. Kind of sorry. For anyone who just stumbles upon the show and hears what's going on, they may not tune in again. (laughs) Hey-oh. Amber says, I'm going to crash into something. You're killing me. Karen writes, holy crap. This is very disrespectful type of language we're using. But she says, holy crap, you are killing me. I could barely drive. I was laughing so hard I was actually crying. I loved the call toll-free bit. Pray for me and my dog. Sorry about your technical difficulties. I do want to say, I do want to say, I I do, and I want to take this opportunity now on the radio broadcast that I'm hosting to take the time with it, because it's it's a worldwide audience that we serve. And I do want to take the time and say, oftentimes when we hit technical difficulties, we know that is of the devil. Oh, we have another caller. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I believe we lost our technical problems. That was Satan. Let's try another telephone call. I'm going to go to Fat Ray. <laughs> you can't have monikers when I'm doing Boring Catholic Radio <laughs> in San Antonio, Texas. Ray. Hello. Great Ray. I don't want to call you Fat. Large Ray. Hello. Hello. Thank you for being a part of the Catholic Guy broadcast. No more entertainment. All boring all the time. God Hello? bless. God bless you. Are you are you there? Yes, we're on the, you're on the air now, Ray. Mr. Mr. Rully? Ruly, yes, thank you. God, God bless, bless you. you Mr. Ru- God, Rully. I um Ruly, God bless you. I, I got your 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 cassette tape. <laughs> the um uh, eternity smoking or non-smoking. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Rully. It was it was 
you suck and are going to hell. Yes, that was the correct. And, and I got that tape, and in, in that tape, you talked about how... Huh. <laughs> God bless you. Talk, you. You talked about how we should pray the rosary at least eight times a day. God bless Ye- you. Yesterday, Mr. Rudley, I, I missed... I only did seven rosaries yesterday, and now I think I'm going to go to hell. You're correct. And I just want to know what to do because I'm, I, I don't know. I, you know, I listen to your show and I buy your eight tracks. And mm. my nephew, he goes on that, that what do you call it, the inner inner tube thing? And, it's and the devil's. It's the print. devil's highway is what we call it. Yeah, the yeah, he and he, you know, shows me your stuff, and now I'm. I don't know what to do. I, I, well, Ray, I to, uh, what I what I can tell you is we're going to keep you in our prayers. Uh, it's never too late to be saved. With you, I must admit it's getting close. But I will tell you this. So long as you continue to purchase my products and so long as you continue to buy my cassette tapes and eight tracks and uh, pamphlets. <clears throat> uh, uh, sorry. So long as you continue to do that, then uh, you may not be saved, but you are on the right path. But could could I go? You know, like what's the? the... Oh, I'm sorry. I believe we had another technical error. We're having technical errors on today's show. Well, we will try another telephone call. Let us try. I'm going to go now to Ralph in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Thank you for your call. Very. Oh, I'm sorry. We were having technical problems already. I, I can hear you now, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, brother, brother Lino. I have a, a prayer request for you. God bless you. Uh, if, if you don't mind, God bless you. If, if you don't mind, uh, I, I had a very good friend who happened to be uh, just minding his own business one day when all of a sudden he winds up uh, getting blown away by Howard Stern's gas. Baba booey, baba booey, baba booey, baba booey, baba booey, baba booey. I believe we have a prank call. I believe that was a prank call. Uh, I'll I'll try. <clears throat> these people who prank the show are not. These are not good people who prank us. I have to tell you, this is not. This is not good. I I will take one more of your phone calls, your telephone calls on our radio broadcast today. Um, let's go. Uh, I don't I don't have the name on my te- my screen right now. Caller. Hey. Uh. Yeah. My name is uh, Jackie Martling. Thank you for your call, Jackie. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I just uh, was curious. I uh, wanted to send you some mail. Uh, I just uh, wanted to know where, where I could send it. God bless you for sending. We, we take all sort of presents around here. And, uh, and uh, if you go to the Devil's Highway, the Internet Web High Surf, okay. Uh, okay. at my website, you can find the address at catholicguy.com. That's www. Well, actually, it's http colon... Uh, backslash backslash www.catholicguy.com. Make oh, sure to put okay. the com at the bo- at the end, or it doesn't work. Yeah, I uh, I don't know if I should put my return address on the uh, on the envelope. Please do, right. please do. We we always appreciate that. Okay, will you send me something back though if I send you uh, some mail? In our the, in the, uh, our prayers for sure. Our, our prayers, absolutely. All right. Do you uh, do you send mail to um, to my to uh, my area of the country? Where do you live? Uh, Howard Stern's nose. Bubba booey, bubba booey, bubba booey, I'm sorry, bubba I'm, being, I'm being I'm being told that was another prank phone. I did I didn't expect these kind of prank calls. Well, I think then that will make. I I think we better wrap up our our show today. Our show has been a blessing to you, and it's been a blessing to us. And this is why we do our worldwide popularity, popular evangelization. What we do on the Catholic Guys Show where there is no more room for entertainment and no more room for comedy. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> All right, the show will be the show will be right back. The the real show, you know the real show? Like the Catholic guy show? <laughs> All right, well the real comedy will be right back. We'll be right back on The Catholic Guy Show. I don't like change! Don't worry, we'll come right back. We promise. On Sirius 159 and XM 117.